Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna learn how to draw a snowman using Python with Turtle. First, let me show you what the sample solution could look like so you know what we're working towards. This is what we're gonna be working towards. As you can see, our snowman is made up of three circles as well as one little smiley face, which composes of two small lines and a half circle. So let's see how we can do this in, in Python with Turtle. All right. So the very first thing we have to do in all of our turtle projects is import turtle. This is letting Python know that we wanna use turtles in our project. And in case you haven't used turtles before, turtle just means, the uh, just refers to the drawing tool that is used to go around and draw our graphic. So first thing we're gonna write is import turtle. Next, we're gonna actually create our turtle. And when we're doing this, we're gonna actually give it a name. So you can choose anything that you'd like. I'm gonna go with my favorite cat, Cedar. So I'm gonna say cedar equals all lowercase turtle, period, one capital T turtle with a pair of parentheses at the end. So again, this first line is just telling Python, hey, we wanna use turtles in our projects. And the second line is creating our first turtle called cedar. Now we're gonna be able to give cedar any of the directions that we need to make it draw something. So let's just take a look at what some basic inst instructions that we can give Cedar looks like. So the first thing that we can do is we can tell Cedar to draw um, draw a straight line by going forward. So I can say Cedar dot forward followed by a pair of parentheses. And inside these parentheses are the number of steps, a, a pixels that we want the Cedar to go forward. So let's try a hundred. If I run this code, you'll see that Cedar started at the middle at zero, zero and went forward a hundred pixels. So all of our commands in Python to turtle look like this, where you have the name of your turtle followed by a period, then the name of your command followed by a pair of parentheses. Some functions will have inputs like this one takes in how many pixels we wanna go forward and some of them don't need any inputs. So this is a very simple command that we can give it. The next command that we can give it is either right or left. So telling Cedar to turn and this, the combination of the forward command and the left or right command is what makes our turtle go around drawing our shapes. So let's try going right. Cedar dot right. And then the input that's going to go in here is the number of degrees you would like Cedar to turn. So let's say that we were we wanted to draw like a perfect right angle. We can say 90. And let's take a look. Now Cedar goes forward and then turns 90 degrees. So then if we want to draw a next line, we can say Cedar dot forward again. All right, so now that we got the basics done, we want to create a circle, right? And how can we do that in Python? So circles are, you can kind of think of circles as a shape with a lot of different sides. So a square, right, is a shape with four sides, each of them 90 degree with 90 degree angles. A uh, triangle is a shape with three sides. And in order to turn inside and make a triangle, you actually have to turn 120 degrees. Let me show what I, let me show you what I mean. So first I'm gonna draw a square by saying, by creating a for loop. So it's gonna say for I in range four. If you haven't heard of for loops before, what all this does is tell the code that is inside of it to repeat four times. So then once I go inside here, I can say cedar dot forward 100 and then I could tell Cedar to turn right. So what it's gonna do is Cedar is going to go forward 100 pixels, then turn right, and then do those two steps over and over again. And if I run our code, you'll see that we get a perfect square. So now let's change this to three. And now I'm gonna change our 90 degrees to 120 degrees, just to show you how this draws a, uh, draws a triangle. So there we go, here's a triangle. The little formula that you can use in order to figure out how much you have to turn in order to create any polygon is by doing 360 divided by the number of sides. So in this case, 360 is the total number of angles that we'll have to turn to make our shape. And in this case, our triangle has three sides. So 360 divided by three gets us 120. Cool? All right, so now again, circles, that's what we're trying to do here. So how can we create a circle? We can create a circle by imagining it as a shape with a lot of different, a lot of small slides. So for example, we can picture it as a shape with 36 sides. And if there are 36 sides, what's our formula gonna do? It's gonna do 360 divided by 36. So we should turn right uh, 10 degrees. So let's try that and see what it looks like. So you can kind of see it starting to make a circle, but the number of steps we're taking are way too big. So I'm gonna change this all the way down to 10. 
And let's try this again. There we go. We got a pretty looking circle. All right. So our snowman is comprised of three different circles, right? So we could just go ahead and write this over and over again. However, it's going to be a little easier if we just create a function that draws our snowman. So how do we create a function? I'm going to go up here and I'm going to start by defining our function. So I'm going to write def and then I'm going to say draw circle. That's going to be the name of our function. And for now, let's take in just the parameter size. So this parameter, a parameter is kind of like a placeholder of information that we're going to give the program later when we actually call this function. So right now, we don't know how big our circle is going to be. However, however big we want it to be, we're going to tell our seeder to go for that size. So I'll go like this. And now I need all of this to be indented so that it lives inside of this function, just like that. And now if I call this function draw circle with a size of 10, you'll see that we get the exact same circle that we got before. All right, so now that we have our first circle, we can call this function a couple more times to draw the medium size circle and then the smaller size circle. So here's what we'll do. Now that we've drawn this circle, we're gonna tell our turtle to release its pen. We're gonna take tell our turtle to pick up its pen. So we're gonna say cedar dot pen up. And this is an example of a function that doesn't need any inputs. All Cedar needs to do is pick up the pen. And now we can tell Cedar to go to our next location. So this is gonna take a little bit of trial and error to figure out the exact position that you wanna put your circle in order to line it up perfectly. So I'm gonna try a couple of things and we're gonna see what works best. So I'm gonna say Cedar dot go to which is the command that we can tell to, to tell Cedar to go to a specific coordinate point. So go to takes in an X and Y coordinate. And let's try going to like 0, 120. So if you think about your coordinate point, right, this would be the X axis, this would be the Y axis. And we started at 0, 0. That's where turtle always immediately starts. So I'm trying to see if I move turtle up by like 120 ish, and then draw a smaller circle, if I can get it to line up with this bottom circle. So now after this, we're gonna put our pen back down. And now we can call it our draw circle function again. So let's try draw circle. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try five to see what this looks like. So now let's go ahead and run it. So there's our big circle and there's our small circle. So as you can see, that's a little bit too high and a little bit too big. So let me try doing like a hundred and I'm going to say, and I'm meant to say too small. So let's try to make it like seven and let's see how this changes. it. Okay, we're getting a little closer. Let's try maybe 80. Oh, and that looks perfect, awesome. Okay, so now we can go ahead and draw our last circle. So let's say cedar.pen up. And this is gonna look the same as before. So actually, if you wanna go ahead and pause this video and try doing this yourself and then coming back and seeing if um, if you can get it right, that that will be a great way for you to practice. So let me now do cedar.go2. Um, so I moved 80 before, maybe 40. So I wanna go up by 40. So it's gonna be 80 plus 40. So that's gonna be 120. And now cedar.pen down. And then I'm gonna try that draw circle with five again. So draw circle five, and let's see what this looks like. There's our big one, our medium one, and okay. I want it to be a little bit smaller, so let's make it like four. It's crazy how just a little pixel change can change the, the entire circle. Oh, that looks that's looking pretty good. So now let me just move it up a tiny bit more, maybe like 125. And that looks pretty good to me. Awesome. So one little thing is that it kind of taking a long time to load, right? And you might get bored trying to wait for it over and over again. So one thing that you can do is you can actually change the speed of your turtle. So if we go up here before we do anything, we can set our turtle speed to, let's try uh, 10 and let's see what that does. So it looks like it's going a little bit faster. 
If I change it to 100, it should go a lot faster. There we go, beautiful, awesome. Okay, so now we wanna draw a little smiley face. First, we need to figure out where we need our turtle to go in order to first draw the first line, the first draw the line, the first eye. So let's pick up our pen. So cedar.pen up. And now let's see where we can go. So uh, we're at 0, 0125 right now. I want to move a little bit to the left and a little bit down. So I'm going to tell Cedar to go a little bit to the left, go to, um, let's try negative 10, and then a little bit down. So I'm at 125, let's try 120. And let's just see where that gets us. Okay, so that's about as far left as I want, but I want it to be a little bit more down. So maybe 110. That looks pretty good. Let me move it just a little bit more in. So I'm gonna do negative seven. Awesome, that looks great. So notice that the turtle right now is pointing in this direction, but we wanted to draw a line going down. So the first thing that we wanna do is we want to rotate our pen. So I'm gonna say cedar, and because it's facing to the right right now and we want it to face it down, it needs to turn to the right again. So I'm gonna say right and then 90, and that's gonna make it go down. So let's try that to make sure that it works. Perfect, and now I can put my cedar down pen down and then let's try just going forward maybe 10 pixels so cedar dot forward 10 pixels that looks pretty good so since it's kind of hard to see, I'm going to go ahead and try drawing the other eye and see what that looks like. So the first eye was at negative 7, 110. So I'm going to wager a guess that our next eye is going to be on the opposite side of the x-axis at the same y position. So let's do cedar dot pen up. Oops, pen up. Cedar dot go to 7, comma, 110. And Let's just see what that does so far. That looks pretty good. So now let's do that same thing. So this time it's already facing down. So I don't have to do the right to command again. So now I can just say pen down. And let me scroll a little bit. And now we can go forward 10 again. Just like that. Awesome. Okay, that those eyes look are looking good. So the last thing we've got is the smile. So the smile, if you think about a smile, it's kind of like a half circle. So the same way that we drew this full circle, we want to kind of do the same thing, but stop it halfway through. So first, let's try to get our turtle in a good position to get that half circle started. So I'm going to go to the same X position, but move a little bit. So first, I'm going to say cedar.pen up. Theater dot go to so let's say the same x position as before which was negative seven and we want it to be a little bit lower so maybe if we start at 110 and then the bottom we move 10 pixels so the bottom of that should be at 100 so let's move maybe um 95 so it's just below where our eye starts let's see what that looks like Okay, so again, kind of hard to see. So I'm going to go ahead and just try drawing the smiley face. And then if I need to adjust, I can do so later. So cedar dot pen down. And now we want to draw a half circle. So we're going to use a for loop to do this. So for, oopsies, for i in range. So normally we wanted to go do, imagine a circle of 36 signs. So we're going to do that same thing. And there's two ways you can do this. You can either keep the same range and make your make it so that you only turn a certain number of times, or you can cut use cut your range in half and then move your angle the same amount of time. So let me show you what I mean. So for I in range, let's say cedar dot forward, 
And because it's facing down right now, we are going to want to turn to the left in order to go to a right on our screen. So let's go for just one pixel because we want this to be really small. And then we're going to say cedar dot right. And what is 360 divided by 36? That would be 10. But that's for a whole a whole circle. So what if we try doing five so that it does half a circle? Let's see what this would do. Oh, so our turtle actually went to the left. And I said left originally, but then I wrote right. So let's try left this time. But otherwise, that's looking pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to move our um, our smile just a little bit so it's centered a bit more. So let's try maybe negative five. And let's see, maybe a tiny bit more. Oh, negative five actually moves it to the right since it's negative. So I should have done negative nine. So let's try that instead. That looks a lot better. And maybe one tiny pixel more. So let's say negative 10. Awesome, that looks beautiful. So this was when we did 36 as the number of sides in our, in our circle, and then we turned five degrees instead of 10 since we wanted to do half a circle. So another way you could do this is, let's say that we did 10, which would have made our whole circle. You can also divide 36 in half in order to do the same thing. So 36 divided by two, that would be 18. So let's see what happens if we do this. And notice that, the, we still got a half circle. It's a lot smaller though. And that's because we're turning a little bit more, but moving the move, not moving as far. So I'm going to go back and just keep this as 36 and then five. So we got our beautiful snowman again. Awesome. Okay. So that's our snowman. And here's a little challenge for you. I want you to see if you can make um, add some accessories to the snowman. And let me show you an example of what this might look like. So here, if I run this program, we'll see a very similar snowman to the one that we created. However, it's a little bit more advanced. So we've got our carrot nose, our eyes. We even got a little top hat as well as some arms. Thanks for drawing with me today. Go ahead and try to see if you can build this snowman yourself and then try to see challenge yourself and make that more advanced snowman that I just showed you. Have fun.